Breaking science news. Yellowstone's black diamond pool erupts. Earth shakes. Panic pool returns. The 21st of December 2025, Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone has once again reminded the world why it remains one of the most closely watched geological regions on Earth. In the early hours of the 21st of December 2025, a sudden and violent hydrothermal eruption burst from Black Diamond Pool sending a towering plume of mud, steam, and boiling water into the winter air, while earthquakes quietly rippled beneath the surface. The eruption reignited public concern and revived memories of last year's destructive blast that permanently altered parts of Biscuit Basin. Scientists stressed that this was not a volcanic eruption but the event underscores how unstable and powerful Yellowstone's underground system remains. Black Diamond Pool explodes again. Just after sunrise, monitoring cameras detected a rapid surge of pressure beneath Black Diamond Pool, a thermal feature known for its unpredictable behavior. Without warning, the pool erupted violently, launching dark sediment, rock fragments, and superheated steam dozens of feet into the air. Eyewitness footage shows the pool transforming in seconds from calm, mineral-stained water into a churning crater of mud. The blast left behind fresh debris fields and altered the pool's shape once again. Further evidence that Yellowstone's hydrothermal plumbing is still reorganizing itself. Scientists note that Black Diamond Pool has been highly unstable since the major hydrothermal explosion in 2024, which damaged boardwalks and forced long-term closures in Biscuit Basin. Since then, pressure has continued to rebuild underground. Panic Pool returns to life. Nearby, Panic Pool, a thermal feature whose name dates back to early explorers, showed renewed activity following the eruption. Sensors recorded sudden temperature spikes, rapid water level changes, and increased gas emissions. Geologists believe the eruption rerouted underground pathways, allowing heat and steam to migrate toward Panic Pool. While no eruption was observed there yet, scientists describe the system as highly pressurized and evolving. This kind of chain reaction is common in geothermal areas like Yellowstone, where thousands of interconnected fractures allow energy to shift rapidly across the landscape. Earthquakes beneath Yellowstone. In the hours leading up to the eruption, seismometers recorded a series of small earthquakes, most of them too weak to be felt by visitors. These quakes are believed to be caused by moving fluids, collapsing cavities, and shifting rock beneath the hydrothermal system. Importantly, scientists emphasize, these earthquakes did not involve magma rising. No rapid ground uplift was detected. The overall volcanic alert level remains normal. However, experts acknowledge that hydrothermal explosions are among the most dangerous hazards in Yellowstone because they can occur with little to no warning. What really happened underground? Beneath Yellowstone lies a vast network of superheated water, steam-filled fractures, volcanic heat left behind from ancient eruptions. Over time, water trapped underground can become hotter than its boiling point due to immense pressure. When that pressure suddenly drops because of an earthquake, fracture, collapse, or shifting fluid, the water flashes instantly into steam. 
That rapid expansion causes an explosion powerful enough to throw rocks, mud, and boiling water across large distances. This is exactly what scientists believe occurred at Black Diamond Pool. Is this a sign of a supervolcano eruption? Despite alarming headlines circulating online, scientists are clear. This does not indicate an impending super eruption. No magma movement toward the surface has been detected. Yellowstone is not waking up in a catastrophic sense. Supervolcanic eruptions require years to decades of unmistakable warning signs, including massive ground uplift, large earthquakes, and chemical changes across the park. None of those conditions are currently present. What is happening is something Yellowstone does frequently, releasing pressure through its hydrothermal system. Why this still matters. Even without a volcanic eruption, events like this are a powerful reminder that Yellowstone is geologically alive. Hydrothermal explosions can be sudden and dangerous. Continuous monitoring is essential for public safety. Yellowstone hosts more than 10,000 thermal features, the largest concentration on Earth. Each one is connected to the same deep heat source, meaning changes in one area can influence others. What scientists are watching next? Following the December 21 eruption, scientists are closely monitoring. Gas emissions, water chemistry changes, ground deformation, seismic swarms, activity at nearby thermal features. For now, Yellowstone remains open under strict safety restrictions, while certain areas near Biscuit Basin stay closed. Final thought. Yellowstone did not erupt, but it spoke. With a violent burst of steam and mud, Black Diamond Pool reminded us that beneath the park's serene beauty lies an immense, restless system of heat and pressure. Not a supervolcano awakening, but a warning that Earth's most powerful geothermal engine never truly sleeps.